everybody. I'm Lauren Sidney in New York. Hollywood may be the showbiz capital of the world, but it's not the only place to make it in the movies. I spent 12 years in L.A., and um, that was enough. Screenwriter Ben Taylor is currently working in his hometown of Atlanta, but that's not where he ended up five years ago when he left L.A. Instead, he landed nearly 6,000 miles away in Germany. It was there some former German colleagues helped Taylor break into the movie scene, and his career took off. It's amazing how much I've been able to do over there and how much gets made. I mean, that's the best part. I, I made a living writing scripts in L.A., but they would just go into some big drawer somewhere that after they were done, something would happen. And um, in Germany, they just all get made. In September, Taylor's second novel will be published in Germany. Five of his feature films have been released there, and two other screenplays have been turned into TV movies. But the amazing thing is, Taylor cannot write or really speak German. So all of his work has to be translated. I sat next to a director one time during a screening of one of my movies, and I, I know, I looked at him and I said, that's not mine. What did they say? And he says, how do you know? It's in German. I said, I, I know the script. I know which words are supposed to be there, you know? So the movie occupying Taylor's time these days is In the Flesh, a film he not only wrote and produced, but also directed. The murder mystery was made financially possible because of Taylor's surprise hit, Stockyspresh, which is German for talk of the town. The comedy is centered around a radio talk show host whose boyfriend winds up being her new friend's husband. Yeah. Yeah. In 1995, talk of the town won top honors at the Munich Film Festival, and it was the most popular German movie of the year. Taylor's next project is the movie Venus and Mars. It begins shooting this fall in Germany, but Taylor may end up leaving behind his German-English dictionary because the movie's being shot in English. Beth Horsel of CNN Entertainment News, Atlanta.